Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. At this time, I ask that you please silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our entrance hymn is Blessed Are the Pure in Heart, number 471 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see our God. The secret of the Lord is theirs, their soul is Christ's abode. The Lord who left the hymns, our life and peace to bring, to dwell Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. As we prepare to celebrate these mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord's forgiveness. sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe. God of mercy on us, forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the death and resurrection of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, think of us in this way, as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. I do not even judge myself. I'm not aware of anything against myself, but I am not therefore acquitted. 
It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring light to things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive commendation from God. The word of the Lord. The response to our psalm, the Lord is coming to judge the peoples with equity. The Lord is coming to judge the peoples with equity. and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. The Lord is coming to judge the peoples with equity. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord. The Lord is coming to judge the peoples with equity. For the Lord is coming coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. The Lord is coming to judge the peoples with equity. according to Luke. The scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, John's disciples, like the disciples of the Pharisees, frequently fast and pray, but your disciples eat and drink. And Jesus said to them, you cannot make wedding guests fast when the bridegroom is with them, can you? The days will come and the bridegroom will be taken away from them and then they will fast in those days. Jesus also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new garment and sews it on an old garment. Otherwise, the new will be torn, and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, otherwise 
The new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wineskins. And no one, after drinking old wine, desires new wine, but says the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading today, St. Paul tells the members of the church in Corinth that there must be no passing of premature judgment. Leave that until Jesus comes. In other words, only the Lord is in a position to judge someone because only the Lord Jesus can reveal the secret intentions of the human hearts. Only the Lord sees deeply enough to make a true judgment of others. Therefore, we need to be very slow to judge others or even to judge ourselves. In the gospel, Jesus uses, often uses images drawn from the daily lives of people to say something important about his relationship with us and ours with them, him. And there's also judgment by the Pharisees in this particular gospel reading as well, so the theme is still there. In the gospel reading, we find the Pharisees passing ju premature judgment on Jesus' disciples because they do not follow the Pharisees' regulations regarding fasting. And Jesus defends his disciples against his judgmental attitude, explaining that what with his coming, something very new has arrived. His ministry has the quality of a wedding feast, and who would think of fasting during a wedding feast? His ministry is like new wine that calls for new wineskins, a new wa way of image imagining how we relate to God. Jesus' disciples have been caught up in this good news, so it is not fair to judge them because they don't want to drink the old wine, the traditional way of doing things. The old way of doing things, even the old way of fasting and praying, can no longer express the God's new way of working through Jesus. The risen Lord's ministry continues to have the quality of the joy of a wedding feast today. His presence continues to be the, like new wine, which requires new wineskins. The Lord is always leading us into new territory that breaks with where we have been. His presence among us is always dynamic. The Holy Spirit is always ahead of us, and we have to keep catching up where the Holy Spirit is leading us. Our old wineskins need constant renewing to hold the new wine of the Lord's Spirit. It is not enough just to say that the old is good, to quote the ending of the Gospel reading. There is much good in the old, but the, sign, the Spirit of the Lord is always breaking new ground. That is something to rejoice in, not to complain about. What we need above all is the freedom to go where the Holy Spirit is leading us where the Holy Spirit is leading the church. We have to keep renewing our old clothes and old wineskins if the newness of the Spirit is to find full expression in our lives and in the life of the church today. Our prayers of intercession today. We continue to pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, in his visit to Papua New Guinea and Indonesia, Singapore, Timor, the poorer areas of the East. We pray for his protection and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for our Archbishop Peter, for all of our priests and our parishioners in our archdiocese during, during these times of challenge and change. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for peace in our world, especially in Israel and in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. During the season of creation, we pray that we may always respect the earth, our common home. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all the sick recommended to our prayers, for the healing power of the Holy Spirit upon them, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who have died, for our recently deceased Randy Tobin, whose funeral is today, we pray for our intentions of our Mass, Dora Stillman, John Gauchi, and Edith Lynch. For these and all those who have died in the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for your intention in the quiet of your hearts today. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day, and we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. And let us pray. May this offering dedicated to your name purify us, O God, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is, it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and after willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we offer each other the sign of peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter into my room, but and only say the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is 601 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Gather us together, 601. Jesus Christ, gather us together, make us one bread, one body, in your love. Lord Jesus Christ, gather us together. Christ, gather us to. 
together Make us one bread, one body In your Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, O oh Lord, we, we pray that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. And with your may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is Sing a New Song, 563 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Rise, O children, from your sleep, your Savior now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy and filled your soul with song. song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Glad my soul, for I have seen the glory of the Lord. The trumpet sounds, the dead shall be raised. I know my Savior lives. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung. 